Good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, good middle of the night, if you're in insomnia mode. <laughs> I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but it is morning for me, and today's part of the vlog, I think today's vlog is going to be like a combo of a couple of days. Um, today I've got to go out um, this morning to do some errands. I'm popping over to the Eaton Center because I want to get some stuff at Canadian Tire couple things from Best Buy and yes I'm going back to Bath and Body Works. I know I promised that it would not come up in these videos again however today they are doing their body care day um, and I thought I was going to wait till the semi-annual sale which happens just after Christmas um, and I looked back to how much I spent last year and I like it was like 50% off whereas semi-annual sale or sorry body care day items are $4.95 and that's like way better than 50% off so I might as well stock up on the body creams that I'm going to be using next year because like I said I'm doing no by next year so I want to have the items that I know I'm going to use because I use the body creams they're like my probably my favorite product candles and the body body uh, cream the two things that I get from Bath and Body Works might get a couple of shower gels um, and that that might be it that should be it. <laughs> I want to be a little bit more restrained this time around. Um, at Best Buy, I need to get a new mouse. Um, actually, I do have one new mouse, so I like to have two. I've been using one for a long time, but I've forgotten it. Like when I go home, I forget it here in my place in Toronto. Um, I go to the office, and I'm paranoid about forgetting it at the office because I, I don't like the mouse at the office. <laughs> um, so I bought another mouse, um, a Logitech mouse. It's like a silent mouse. Where have these been my whole life? I did not know you could get like a silent click mouse. So I'm getting another one because the mouse that I've been using for a long time, it is another Logitech one. It is, um, it's dying. <laughs> like it's, even when I change the battery, it's acting funny. Like it's, it's like not connecting all the time. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get a second silent mouse. And they're only around $20, which it's not the cheapest, cheapest, but it's definitely on the cheap side. And I was like, Heck yeah, gonna get another mouse. Um, and yeah, just a couple things from Canadian Tire. I might mosey around the Eaton Center. I know I took you guys there the other day at night, um, but it's daytime today. And I didn't walk around all of Eaton Center, so I might walk around Eaton Center a little bit more, give you a little bit of a view of Eaton Center during Christmas time. It'll be a little bit early, so it might not be super busy, which is good. Like that's why I'm trying to go now. Um, go before it gets busy. Um, and yeah, the rest of today is really just gonna be doing a bit of filming. I have to film some, like pre-film some videos for the rest of this week, try and get at least two. I wanna try and get two videos filmed today and two to film tomorrow, plus this vlog. <laughs> that's how I try and work things. And that should get me going through to the end of the week, I hope. I don't know, I'm starting to run, not run out of ideas, but some of my videos that I was planning, I was like, oh, those are gonna take a little bit more effort, a little bit more planning, a little bit more prep. I don't have time for that. So I'm trying to like figure out what things can I film that don't require so much, so much upfront work that I can just sit and film. Um, so I'm kind of readjusting what I'm gonna be filming for the next little bit. Anyway, see you over at the Eaton Center. giant reindeer even though the tree is not up this year it's funny though looking at this I was wondering where did they store it
raccoon decorations it must be a distinctly Canadian thing. Definitely distinctly a Toronto thing. I'm curious to know if raccoon Christmas decorations exist anywhere else. They're so funny. going to the Eaton Center today, I wanted to show you the path. So if you're not familiar in Toronto, we have this thing called the path. So if you're wondering where everybody is on a rainy Tuesday at lunch, <laughs> they're all down here. Um, more pre-pandemic, it's a bit quiet, but I really wanted to show this because this used to be all stores and there is nothing here. Pandemic just killed the path. Um, there's some sections of the path that are the same, like the same stores, but this section, when I came through here the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, everything is closed. I'm, I'm hoping this will come back and open up again, but yeah, it's pretty wild. Anyway, the path is really cool. You can basically walk from Union Station all the way through to the Eaton Center. Um, there's other sections you can walk through as well to go, um, but yeah, it's really really neat how you can walk through here and i'm talking super quiet because it's the weekend it's always really quiet here on the weekends most people don't realize that you can still walk through here like i would say between nine and nine o'clock some sections do close though so it's kind of annoying <laughs> when you walk through some parts so here's a section of the path for example that's pretty much like it was before um you can see you got a lot of like convenience stores the path has a few stores along it. It's got a lot of food courts. None of these are open on the weekend, which drives me crazy. I think, I know they don't do it because of, they really cater to the nine to five office people, but post pandemic, I feel like there's a whole new business model here that they could be thinking about. I was even thinking about the winter village. They could totally do a winter village down here on weekends. That'd be a great idea, just saying. Anyway, it's pretty quiet because like I said, it's the weekend, but this section is much more normal than that other section where everything is closed. Hi, so quick little check-in. It is the next day and Harley and I are off in a moment, <laughs> hopefully, to go to this thing. I say hopefully because, oh, wrong way, wrong way, down. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Um, but we're gonna go to this thing called the Holidays, Holidays Market. It's like a dog fair. 
Um, I don't know how well this will go. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Harley is good with other dogs. Like, he's not problematic with other dogs. He doesn't really care. He gives them a sniff. Um, but he can get, I call it stimulus overload <laughs> in certain situations, especially when there's food. Um, and you've heard him talk, I think. I think I've had him on these vlogs. If you watch my channel, you've heard him. He's pretty talkative. So he'll, like, do his little talky talk. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. We'll see how it goes. If he's not loving it, we won't stay. Um, we might be able to get a picture with Santa Claus. I don't know. Um, there's lots of vendors there. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything. Um, there's maybe one or two things that I'll have my eye out for, but if I don't see it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get them. Um, I am going to bring like my sling, like his, his sling and the backpack because he just doesn't really walk. So it'll make it easier to just, you know, walk around and see some of the vendors and Again, it's indoors, so I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't have an accident somewhere. Because, like, yeah, if one dog pees in a spot, he wants to be in the same spot. So I have his belly band as well. So I'm hoping he'll be fine. That was something I never worried about until he did it at my friend's house. Um, she had, like, AstroTurf on her balcony, and he <laughs> peed there. And he also peed, and then I was either before that or after that, he peed on my friend's porch. But both those times, I know on the, my friend's porch... She said her other dog or her sister's dog pees that spot. So again, I think he was peeing in her spot. And then my other friend said, my other friend's dog probably has peed on that spot on the, the balcony as well in the past. Like, or at least it probably smells like her dog. So anyway, long story short, I hope he doesn't pee inside. <laughs> I hope he enjoys it. I was again, hesitant. It's like, am I doing this for me or am I doing it for him? But I want him to have experiences. He was pretty sheltered before I got him and I think this is a good, like, experience for him to, like, meet, sniff other dogs. Like I said, he loves to sniff other dogs, um, and that's it. Then he just walks away, he doesn't care. He loves people. He loves getting attention. Um, he loves seeing new things. Like, he loves going to new places and walking and sniffing around new places. Um, but, yeah, it could, <laughs> could be sensory overload, and we don't last very long. So that's today's main main event for today, which I might actually not, I probably won't film at all. I'm, I might take some really, really short videos, uh, like B-roll vid video, and I might take some photos potentially if I have a chance, uh, but my attention is really on this guy, and it's it's really for him to enjoy himself, which <laughs> he'll, I, I'm sure he'll wake up when he gets there. He'll be excited for the car ride at least. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll see you later. You pooped? You pooped? Mm. Ay, 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 ay. So, Harley and I are back from the little holiday, how, how the day village. Um, <laughs> he's pretty pooped. We probably look the same as before we left. 
Um, we're in the same position. We just had lunch as well. Um, I probably, in between those two posts or two filming things, I, I'm hoping I put some photo and some video up. I tried to take a couple little videos. I tried to take a couple little photos. We did get our photo taken with Santa Claus. I haven't seen it close up, but <laughs> it just, it makes me laugh. Like he is like crazy. <laughs> And I, yeah, the Santa Claus is like a mannequin. It's it's a real person. But holy crap, I thought he was a mannequin at first because he like doesn't move and he didn't really talk. So it was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I, I, was, I was a little worried, I think, before I left. Not, not I was a little worried. I know I was worried before I left. And um, Harley had a blast. I'm so glad I took him. We only stayed an hour and that was long enough for both of us. Um, eventually he just got tired and doesn't really want to walk around but he was just loving to like look at everything and sniff at everything and like half the booths had like treat samples so he was loving that so yeah really glad we took the time to do that um it was a little expensive and not like it was 15 dollar ticket um with tax like 60.95 i think is what the total was but i mean like i said he got lots of little treats and stuff i did pick up one bag of treats um that'll be his christmas and there was a couple other booths that I was kind of interested in. Like there was this like doggy bathroom one. And I was like, hmm, if he ends up having some problems like he was having when he got sick there, we may need to do that in the future. Um, there was also this snuffle mat thing that I was maybe thinking about getting him. The ones I had there were all kind of large. So if I do get him one, I might get a smaller one. Um, so that's why I didn't pick up one when I was there. But yeah, so, so that was a really good time for him. Um, he really, really enjoyed it. I mean, they had stuff like you could drink and stuff. I drove, so I wasn't going to drink or anything, but they had like a little bar, they had a little like coffee thing. Um, so yeah, there was a lot there, a lot of vendors. Um, and when I got there, like it was pretty quiet. I think like the video footage looks like it's empty because it was pretty empty. We got there like right at the start. Um, but as we were leaving, like it was definitely filling up with uh, a lot of people and a lot of dogs. So I think it'll... Definitely be busier. Probably not as busy today as yesterday, just because the weather is not great today. Kind of the other reason why I was gonna go today, because I figure if it was a little bit quieter, it was better for him. Um, but yeah, he seemed to really enjoy himself. Um, so I'm glad I I'm glad I took him. So not much else on the agenda for today. Um, I've got to do some video prepping. There's some stuff I want to do. I want to try and film one more video today, if I can do it. If I can prep enough um, for that video. I need to pop out to the store for a minute and that's really about it. I want today to be kind of a quiet day. Yesterday was a pretty busy, <laughs> a really busy day actually. I was pretty tired yesterday after all the things I did and I don't know, can't really hear it in here. I'm hoping you're not going to hear it on the video. <laughs> My neighbors, I think it's a smoke alarm, is, is like battery needs replacing. So like every two minutes it's like beep. And it's really loud in my bedroom. <laughs> so last night, I was like, uh, especially when everything's quiet, right? You can hear it. Like when the TV's on and stuff, I can't hear it. But when it's like nighttime and it's quiet. So I was like sleeping with like earphones in. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was fun. It's still going, I think. I haven't paid attention to it, but I'm pretty sure it's still still going. I don't hear it quite as loud in here. It's louder in, in the bedroom. Anyway. That's it for now, and we'll check in later. So, can you guess what I'm making? I am making some snickerdoodles. I realized I did not finish yesterday's vlog, so we're gonna finish with making some snickerdoodle cookies. I'll link the recipe that I'm using online. I'm just doing a half a batch, um, just so I don't have like a million cookies, and it's actually a pretty straightforward recipe. I had all the ingredients except for apparently the magic ingredient. Apparently this is the magic ingredient, cream of tartar, which in my head, I want to call it cream of tartar. <laughs> so apparently it's like more of an acidic type powder, like compared to baking soda or baking powder. So yeah, these are going to go in the oven and then I'm going to eat them. Not all of them, but I'm going to try them. I have never tried Tinkerdoodles before, so I'm excited. Oh man, don't these look tasty? I think they came out really, really good. I'm going to try one. They came out a little poofier than I expected, but I'll try it anyway. 
tastes like a sugar cookie, but yeah, that tart, that cream of tartar gives it a bit of a different taste. Interesting. I like it, but it's different. Kind of needed that little bit of a treat today. Um, bit of a, a rough start to the morning. <laughs> um, I had to go to the dentist this morning, which is fine. I don't mind going to the dentist, but my car broke down. Again, it was fine. Not a big deal. Um, it was a battery, but I did have to get a replacement battery. Big shout out to CAA. They were quick and efficient for the most part. And yeah, so it was a bit of a <laughs> bit of an unexpected start to my day and kind of an expensive day because I had to go to the dentist, had to pay for a car battery. Um, I also had to go to the eye doctor today. And even though like I do have benefits, I have to pay for it all up front and then get reimbursed. So just a bit of a bit of a pricey day and a bit of a busy day and a little unexpected with the with the car, which it's funny because I think about former me would have been really frazzled by that. And I was just kind of like, well, there's the battery and, you know, there's not much I can do about it. And I don't know, I kept thinking about things like it could be so much worse. Like I was lucky that the car didn't break down on the highway or it didn't break down somewhere that was like, you know, problematic or it was like a bigger problem or anything like that. So that's kind of, you know, put it in perspective and like that I'm okay. Like, you know, there was no accident or anything like that. Knock on wood. So, so yeah, that was, that was my weekend. That's been in the past few days. Um, I'm, I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video here. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.